Lights out, and we go racing. Good start from Dave Bellamy. Not bad at all from Oliver Ford on the outside. Dave Ellis struggling to get away well. He gets swallowed up by the pack and is side by side with Steve Brown. Ollie Ford goes Joker. First time then, so four cars into the Joker. Steve Brown still side by side then with Dave Ellis going through Chess and Strift. And they're still side by side on the corner exit. We can see from our commentary position the drivers coming cascading through into the left hander. Ellis on the inside, Brown on the outside. Ellis gets himself back through as Dave Bellamy leads, but Brown is still side by side with him once again they're running almost wing mirror to wing mirror up the top of the hill into the north bend and it's ellis who gets the advantage into the north bend three bella brx cars absolutely together at the front of the field but dave bellaby making his escape dave ellis is second steve brown third they're squabbling so dave bellaby is checking out already on lap one of him completed a tour of the hill circuit and Dave Bellaby has got a handsome margin at the head of the field which will help him when the Jokers play out. Problems for Wesley Wickens, he didn't get away from the start, that was the car you saw stricken on the grid, sadly, the number 511 uh, making his first ever final in the BMW Minis, it's come to nothing owing to uh, either a stall or some kind of a technical problem presumably there for the number 511, that car will need to be recovered after this race has concluded. So the top three have not Joker, the rest of the field behind have and it's going to be interesting because they're not squabbling amongst one another. They're all setting their own pace on the first, second and third place runners at the moment. But it all comes down to the times and to whether they are going to have enough of a buffer compared to the likes of Darren Bleasdale in the number 68, for example, who is very close behind. And we can see from our commentary position that Oliver Ford in the number 38, who started on the front row of the grid, is slowing coming down Harry Hill and retiring. So Oliver Ford is sadly out of contention in this final. That is a disaster for the number 38 and a very sad end to what has been a very promising day. Dave Ellis in second position, lapping quicker than the race leader Dave Bellaby. So watch for the two Daves out front as they begin to close up. Bellaby was in the 48.5s, but Dave Ellis last time around in a 48.4. So the second place car to come up into North Bend Hairpin is closing and gapping importantly the third place man Steve Brown so it's Bellaby versus Ennis really for victory it's going to be interesting to see how this all plays out Dave Bellaby won round one of the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship here just a few days ago and he is doing a good job out there on track so far Dave Ellis though has kept him honest throughout the entirety of this weekend and you would imagine that these two are going to run very similar strategies unless Ellis decides to peel off for the Joker on the penultimate lap but personally I can't see that being an advantage as it stands at the moment because there is too much of a gap for it to be uh, an advantage compared to Dave Bellaby. Steve Brown still sitting in third position as it stands. The drivers coming through the devil's elbow, the race leaders, as they come up the top of Harry Hill. And it is the 87 of Bellaby that leads the way. Steve Brown in the background in third position, looming, but not quite close enough to mount a charge. If anything, I'd say that gap has decreased over the course of this lap between Bellaby and Ellis at the moment at the front. But again, not significantly so for Ellis to mount a charge at the moment. The cars are run from the same stable, but I'm sure there won't be any team orders. It's every man for themselves as Dave Bellaby, the race leader, goes Joker, followed strangely by Dave Ellis. Thought Dave might leave it until the last lap, try and do something different, try and get the move on Dave Bellaby on the final tour but he's sticking with his teammate and following it every move through the Joker section. Steve Brown also jokering there from third position. Steve Brown actually emerging behind Jason Bleasdale as well. So Bleasdale in the 68 has managed to get himself through into third position. We just saw that coming through Chesson's Drift and that does mean that Brown is going to have to try and overtake Bleasdale on track if he wants to get himself onto a podium position. They come up the top of Harry Hill. It's Dave Ellis in second position. So the top two have now jokered and unless Ellis has got anything in his locker, which I don't know if he has. It looks like Bellamy's got this one sewn up. Yeah, Ellis, I really would have left it until the final lap, just to try and roll the dice and do something different to your teammate ahead. You're sticking with Dave. Maybe he just wants to follow every move and try and force him into a mistake. He thought, I'll do that rather than do the joke on the last lap and come out behind. So he is still with him, and Dave Ellis is probably going to prove us wrong now and nip through on the final lap because he's getting ever closer. Look at this drive he's got through Chesson's Drift. He's closer than he was to Dave Bellamy. They're really putting on a show for us here in the BMW Mini Final. Bellamy goes defensive. They're running nose to tail. There's contact between them through the left hander of the Devil's Elbow. That low cost drive ultimately for Dave Ellis. They're running up the top of the hill, but Bellamy has got this one covered up and sewn up. And unless Ellis can get really promising drive, 
Cardiff, and Bellamy does not out of the North Bend. It's surely going to be the number 87 of Dave Bellamy who is going to make it two from two here in the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship. Just one more corner to go in the form of the chicane, and Dave Bellamy wins round two of the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship in the BMW Mini Class. Dave Ellis comes home in second position ahead of Darren Bleasdale in third place. A brilliant race for all involved.